This late game farming area is off the chain. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is The Full Measure. And what I'm quickly going to show you is farming out these 17 mobs in this area here. As you can see right now, each of them is popping for 2,000 ruins at a time. And basically... Uh, they kind of sit still the whole time. They don't mess with you. There's a couple of these red ones that come walking at you. They are a little bit irritating if they deploy a shield like he's doing right there. Because that's going to mean that my spells are really not hitting him nearly hard enough. Um, however, I also believe that you could probably do this a lot faster. Probably more efficiently as well if you actually employed some AoE. Um, and I haven't really tested this yet with a physical damage or a melee class so that could also probably be an easier time however i as i mentioned this is a late game farm area and uh, you actually have to be quite far progressed into the game to be able to get here now i'm going to show you one of the two methods that i know how to get to this area it doesn't involve any you know pvp or any fighting which the other method actually does involve that you have to essentially invade and uh fight some enemies you don't have to win when they do that that is a uh, hyper scary <laughs> okay but in any case we're about done here so i killed 17 of those mobs then as you can see at the bottom i have 34k xp so uh, and it took me about a minute to do that and uh, basically that equates to about 340k every 10 minutes or pretty much 2 million every hour and that is by far the best rune farm that i've farmed yet so how do you get there now specifically once you get to the mountaintop of giants and you get access to this area here one of the waypoints that you're going to be able to unlock is ordina which is this liturgical town okay so we're going to go there and then you're just going to ride south because the area that you're looking for is actually over here where this uh, one is. So that's going to be a portal that's going to pretty much take us exactly to where we need to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and ride down there quickly. Archer didn't get popped in the back by these archers up on the hill here. Now, when you ride through this area here, there is a potential fight that spawns. And to be honest, I can't confirm whether that actually makes the teleporter, which we're going to use, spawn or not. Because, of course, I killed the mob and uh, i couldn't observe that behavior but basically what i'm talking about is this area here this jungly or uh, foresty area here why am i saying jungly um has bears in it so you don't have to fight any of these bears but when you are moving towards that blue that i have right there which is round about where the portal is you are going to be invaded by an npc and it's possible that you have to actually kill that npc the good news is the npc can take damage from these bears as well so you can really mix it up and you know probably take them down but i think the first thing you should do is just double check whether you actually even have to kill that npc but once you ride in the back here this is basically an indication of the guys that you're going to be killing so you just murder this little dude that's basically standing here and you can see the portal is right here i'm relatively certain that this portal is here either which way and it doesn't matter whether you kill that npc or not so all good so once you go through the portal that's actually going to take you to almost exactly where we need to be to set up this farm. So it's super dark in here. So I'm just going to turn this on. And you can ride out. You can run out if you want to. But this is us basically at the place where we need to be. That right down there is the waypoint that we need. So we can just go ahead and ride down. I was hoping that... Uh, I was going to accidentally fall down while recording this. So, you know, so far everything's working out as planned. Okay, but once you get here, you post up, you get your waypoint, and you're good to go. Because the mobs that I just killed at the beginning of the video, they spawn right here. And so you can just repeatedly farm these. As I said, they don't actually get up unless you, you know, shoot them and then give them a lot of time. The roaming ones, the red ones are really the ones that are a little bit dangerous. They have this spinning, you know, sort of rolling AOE attack that they employ. And uh, that's definitely something to watch out for, especially if you are not high enough level to be able to take that damage. It actually causes bleed as well, which is not great. But that's it. That's essentially the farm. This is by far the most efficient one that I found yet, simply due to the fact that you don't actually get aggro from enemies and that they 
you know generally actually die quite quite quickly so again i haven't tested it with melee i haven't tested it with physical damage anything like that but this is really efficient and two million an hour before applying any trinkets or anything like that that increases the xp is no joke so that's it for the video i just live recorded this i wanted to get this out to you guys to give it a try i've been doing this for almost a half a day and the gains are ridiculous let me know in the comments down below if you have any favorite farming areas that are as good as this or better than this i always like to learn more about this lovely game i'm having a huge amount of fun playing it and i hope you are too but thank you so much for watching especially if you made it this far it's just super important to me that you have a fantastic morning a great afternoon and a super awesome evening wherever you are in the world and until next video fucking cheers they want the best of me now best of me now best of me now best of me they want the best of me now best of me now best of me now best of me they want the best of me now